Time now for sports with Scott Breen. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. You know, two sport athletes are pretty common anymore. What's rare is the athlete with enough skill and energy to balance two varsity sports in the same season. Casey Conlon shows us how Q2's Athlete of the Week is doing it. Julia Peterson's high school career got off to a flying start. Two runner-up finishes at the state swim meet last year, one to a potential future Olympian, and the other by three hundredths of a second with the state record in reach. But something was missing. I definitely was sad last year when I decided not to play because I wanted to focus on swimming, and that was the only time in my life that I had ever solely done one sport. Peterson has been swimming almost all her life, but she also loves basketball. <laughs> the problem in Montana is that the sports are during the same high school season, so as a freshman, she felt she had to choose. When she decided to swim, I was ecstatic because she's a great individual to start with. She's a wonderful person to work with. Peterson was everything Onan could have hoped for, but all wasn't right. Medical issues popped up that threatened her swimming career, so she started to think of a backup plan. I didn't want to be sitting around at home because I'm the type of person that likes to be out there doing stuff. So I was thinking, well, if I need to be out of the water, basketball is definitely an option. When winter came around again, Peterson was healthier and wasn't going to stay out of the pool. But that basketball hunger grew, and she got one final push. My dad told me, if you want to play, this is your last chance. And that kind of stuck with me, like, oh my gosh, this is the last chance ever to play basketball again. So today, you can find her in the pool and on the court, thanks to a coordinated effort. She has awesome support from her coaches, from me and the coach staff here to Jet and her coaching staff, her parents, her friends, and her teammates on both sides. I mean, she's kind of got a really big family watching out for her. The real challenges are on the weekends. Two Saturdays ago, Peterson swam the 200 meters at Rocky, got out of the pool and into a car over to Central to help the Rams beat Sydney. That was very hectic. The biggest concern for me is just time-wise. I was wishing I could stay at the meet a little bit longer and finish the rest of my events. It's definitely hard, but it's worth it. I enjoy doing it. Last weekend was even crazier. Peterson played in Laurel Friday night, then got up before the sun Saturday with her mom to drive to Missoula for a swim meet. Her coming to the meet on Saturday is one of those things to do whatever she could for her team. And that's Julia. It's been a long few months, with a couple weeks to go before state swimming. But ask her if she'd do it all over again? Oh, I absolutely love it. I think that's one of the best decisions I have ever made. There's no wiping a smile off that face these days. Casey Conn, MTN Sports.